Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about the relationship between an array and a pointer. I believe that all of you guys know what is an array, how to declare an array and also you know how to use an array. So an array is nothing but the collection of similar elements. So if you want to declare an array in your program, you just need to specify the data type. So just for the demonstration purpose here, I'm going to create an integer array. So it's going to be int and the name of the array, let's say number and then square brackets and uh, between the square brackets, we need to specify the size. Let's say five and uh, you guys can initialize the array by, you know, using this curly braces. Let's say 22, 535, 44. 88 99 okay now we have an array called numbers so so to access the elements stored in this array you know what we were doing is we were referencing that array variable and then the index of that element so we were writing something like c out and we were writing the array name the numbers number and uh, the index so the first element was present at the index 0 and similarly the last element was present at at one less than the length of that array. So here what I want to show you guys is I just want to refer this array name number and then I'm going to end this statement and I'm going to build and run this program. Let's see what happens. So now you guys can see we got something which looks like an address so 0x23feec so we know how to print the value stored in a memory address so we need to use the value at operator so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the value at operator with this array name so just remember this we are not referencing this array using an index we just want to know what is stored in this memory location stored in this variable so i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this you guys can see we got 22 and if i look at this array we have declared the first element is containing the value of 22 so let's change this one to let's say 29 and save build and run again we got 29 so there must be a relationship between this um, are the name or the value stored in this number and the first element in this array so what happened here is when we declare and initialize an array the memory was allocated to store the array elements so here in this case you know memory was allocated to store five values so 29 was stored here and 55 was stored here and similarly you know 99 was stored in the end and this number was containing the address of the first element so this number was storing the address of the first element and that's why when we use this star with this number we got this value now we know that we can access this array elements using two methods one by using the array index the array name and then the index and then I'm gonna copy and paste it in the next line and then by using the array name and using a value at operator so both statement are gonna produce the same effect so I'm gonna build and run you know you guys can see 2929 29. Now, what if we want to get this element 44? So this 44 is the third element in the array, which is present at the index 0, 1, 2. So here in this first method, I can write the index 2 here. But in the second method, all of us know that this number is containing the address of the first element of the array. So and also the array elements are stored in continuous memory locations so what we can do is we can uh, somehow add some numbers to this starting address and get to this third element so to do that we need to write 
number and then the address of this first element is in this number then if we add one to that we will be moved to the second element and if we add two to that we will be moved to this third element so i'm gonna add number plus two and also now we have the address of this element 44 what we want to do is we want to print the value stored in this location to do that we need to use the value at operator for that what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine this using the parenthesis so this is very important this parenthesis and then we're gonna use the value at operator star so here we are just printing the value stored in the memory location so I'm gonna save this one I'm gonna build and run you guys can see we got 44 and if I change this one to 4 we'll get 0 1 2 3 4 99 and here also I'm gonna add 4 to that number I'm gonna save this one I'm gonna build and run this so we got 99 this is it guys this is about the relationship between an array and a pointer so we can say that we can access the elements of an array by using the array index method or by using the pointers so when we declare and initialize an array in our program that array is going to contain the starting address of that array elements or the address of the first element of that array so this is it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you guys don't understand please watch it again because if you guys can understand this then you guys can do a lot more in C++ programming so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial